they say a fool speaks because he needs to say something but a wise man speaks because something needs to be said why did i make a video today out the blue wasn't prep wasn't scripted no notes well because i cannot help but notice not a day passes that i don't see some type of marketing approach or advertisement or somebody ranting and raving about how they're an expert and they can increase leads and get you more clients and all these different things you know three thousand four thousand leads in the next 30 days you've seen it all now i'm not saying that i'm against all of that because marketing will be an important component but one thing that people need to realize and especially people relatively new to the industry is that long before you ever think about marketing and getting new leads and a thousand new clients or whatever it is you've got to absolutely make certain that you're doing this with your heart it has to be a passion right and by a passion i mean you you've got to realize the importance of catering to the client the individual you have to make your experience unique there are thousands of gyms and there's a good chance that many of your clients will pass up one or two other gyms just to get to your location. Why do they do that? What will make them want to do that? It's going to come down to the type of experience that you're able to create. So throughout this entire series, I'm going to lay out the blueprint of things that are truly important if you want to be a successful personal trainer. Because the fact is, if you're here for the money, if you look at this like, wow, there's a potential to make $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, here. whatever it is, I'm not saying that potential isn't there, but what I am telling you, if that is your primary motive, this industry, those of us who are passionate about this industry, we will chew you up and spit you out every single time. There's no question in my mind. I'll give you five years max where you're you get burnt out, where you're tired, where you're fed up with training, where you're upset because of the, you're not getting new clients. I'll share a pro tip with you. And I'll tell you why I have never been concerned with getting a ton of new leads every month or getting new clients every other week or whatever. I'll tell you why I haven't been concerned with it. Because I know something through 15 plus years of experience, it's not about how many clients you can get, it's about the quality of client. You get it. Same with training. It's not about how much training you can get for a minimum rate. It's about the quality of the training. So think about those things when you're setting your prices, when you're coming up with different approaches, and just don't be, don't. My goal is to have you not fall victim to these so-called experts in the industry who aren't really making any noise, who aren't really out here making a difference. You know, if you're going to buy into somebody's program, make sure that they're actually giving back. Make sure that they're actually living the life that they talk about. And, and I'll discuss this more in a, in a later video also. But I can assure you that making $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, whatever that number is, that is always and will always be the least of so my concerns. This, this, what I do, it, it's a passion. And I'm privileged. I'm privy by the industry to be able to make a living doing something that I absolutely love. It's not about the money. The money will come. If you're passionate, the money will come. Don't worry about that. Listen, if you want to learn more about how to run a successful personal training business, click the subscribe button below. Check out my other videos as I go through and I detail step by step the things that are truly important. It's not about me selling you something, at least not at the moment. Steve Richardson of Simpos Fitness. Stay tuned.